I'll show you the installation of a D2 governor. Uh, we think, uh, we know that a lot of guys do it themselves at home, they just buy a governor and away you go. So we wanted to give you a few basic tips, what to watch for when you change it. Number one, the governor is going to come already preset at 125 PSI. So you shouldn't have to remove and adjust the cap, it should already be done. There's a few basic things that you need to watch for. Uh, number one, the center section of the governor, these three ports, one, two, and three, are the unloader section. The bottom section, one, two, and three, are the reservoir section from the wet tank. So the signal comes back to here from your tank, and your tank gets to a certain pressure, boom, it senses it inside the governor, the pin lifts, the valve opens, and the air is delivered from these ports. And at that same instant, your dryer, of course, your air dryer, would be purged. So you get a number of plugs and a gasket in your box. So what are you going to do with those? Well, number one, you don't want to put a pipe plug in the exhaust. So your top port that sits all by itself is your exhaust port. It's marked that way. Never, ever plug it. We see that so often, governors come back with plugs in the exhaust. The governor just will not function without being able to exhaust from that port. Another chronic thing that we see take place is uh, often because you get so many plugs, installers will put a plug in here and then mount your gasket and then bolt it to your air compressor. And what that does is it doesn't allow the air to flow through your governor and unload your compressor. So make sure that you put no plug in here. This hole must be open where you would mount it to the compressor. The only thing that would be in there is the gasket so that the air can flow through your governor and into the unloader of your air compressor. So what are we going to do with the rest of these orifices? Well, let's think about it. We're going to leave this one open for sure with our gasket sealing it there. The rest, well, we're going to have to plug this one and we're going to have to plug one on this side. If you, if you probably copy the governor that you have, you should be all right. But it's good to make sure. So this port's going to stay open because there's going to be a line in it that's going to go down to the tank. This one's going to stay open and be sealed by the gasket. So you're probably going to end up having to plug this one in between the two bolts that hold your governor to your compressor. This one will stay open because it's probably going to go back down to your air dryer. Now you might use this one or you might use this one. Either one, is any of them are fine. As long as you stay on these three particular portions of the governor. So this will go down to dryer, this will go to wet tank, we'll mount it onto our air compressor, it should purge at 125 PSI.